Uh, <clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dean Quincy, and uh, I have a business proposal for you today. Boom. Fireworks, Los Santos Cares. Health insurance brought into Los Santos. And said, boom. So the business is health insurance. Speak up, Dean. So the, the, the business is health insurance. Health insurance, <laughs> you know, uh, a lot of things have changed in Los Santos. Uh, but people still pay $100 to get, you know, medical treatment. And doctors get paid shit. EMS get paid shit. It's time for that to change. Yeah. Why? Because you want to make money. I'm listening. So Who covers the the losses from the insurance. I'll say again. Who covers the losses for the insurance? Like who underwrites the plan? Hey? Yeah, <clears throat> slide, please. Uh, you say you say who covers the losses for the insurance? Yeah, who underwrites the 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 package? Like, what do you mean exactly? <laughs> you want to start an insurance company? You don't mm -hmm. underwrite it. <laughs> I just let him drown. <laughs> yes, Dean. All right, then. Um, <laughs> so let's let's say you you covers. <laughs> he's dying. He's yeah. He's... Sorry, his uh, shoes are ticklish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so... Mr. Quincy's a. Uh idea is that if you don't have insurance naturally you'll pay a premium at the hospital regardless but if you do have right. insurance then you're kind of covered with the fees you paid at pillbox or visa right, right so the hospitals themselves will cover you because of the insurance they're paying for the premium but if you don't have so insurance less, then you'll pay a larger fee that's like insurance more like a membership arguably yes so again why wouldn't they just skip over you and offer it themselves why wouldn't they just and take like the doctors? It. Yeah. What do they need you for? I'm I'm gonna You're gonna My my partner is a. Uh... <laughs> gonna answer that. I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess the argument would be that you negotiate a rate across ourselves and hospital, right? So we'd work in tandem together, opposed to doctors on their own individual basis offering out deals. What are your uh, current thoughts, uh, Mr. Lang Watson? Oh, I'll let Lang uh, go first on this one. Uh, well, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, you know, I, uh, you know, I took time out of my... Uh, <laughs> You know, <laughs> my very busy day the other day, uh, we'll let uh, Dean here uh, borrow my motorcycle. You know, I figured, yeah, you know, he can't afford this. Uh, he doesn't make much money. You know, I you know, haven't done somebody a favor in a while. Might as well, you know, let Dean uh, Quincy over here, uh, you know, ride my bike around, you know, have a good day. And, you know, during this whole uh, debacle, uh, he uh, guilted me. <laughs> Into a uh... <laughs> Into this <laughs> Into uh... mm. Into a uh, hearing <laughs> <laughs> Into 
um, hearing him out on this business deal or business idea. And uh, I did feel very bad. And I, you know, I saw the passion in his eyes. And I said, you know what? I will take time out of my very busy day to hear what you have to say on Monday. And I think that I've had more valuable time <laughs> taking a shit <laughs> than listening. And that was some good feedback. Thank you, Mr. Lang. Mr. Watson, do you have any more feedback for Dean? <laughs> <laughs> Don't rush to answer, it's fine. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that was the hardest thing to get through I think I've had in a long time. Yeah, that was... Come back that was something else. Should have done this at the comedy club. <laughs>